in any journey you're going to go through, be it like mental, emotional, whatever it is, um, you have to, you have to put in the effort. I think, I think people sometimes forget, like, there's no quick fix. Amen. There's, you're not, you're not going to wake up one day and go, you know what? I've cured my mental health in exactly 24 hours. It doesn't work that way. Even right. every day, you know, even though I'm in such a amazing, great, healthy place, I still have my moments where like I wake up and like, oh, oh no, this is one of those days. Okay, that's fine. Right. But it takes effort. I could just like let it happen to me or understand it. Mm -hmm. And I think that's so true. Uh, my, I always go back to the gym. It's like the perfect analogy for everything mm -hmm. in life. Like anytime you want results, you're going to have to do something that's uncomfortable. And at the beginning, it's going to be exciting. Like, oh, I'm going to start going to the gym. It's going to be so cool. And that's like all the dopamine. You're all excited. And then after about a week, Dopamine is starting to run out because it's not new and exciting. And now it comes down to what habits have you built? And the habits are really what you should be celebrating rather than the results. Yes. So every day you should be, okay, what do I need to do to be successful today? Go to the gym, do your Instagram, whatever it is, write all those things out. So at the end of the day, when the results aren't there, you can say, hey, look at all the habits that I've developed. These are what I should be celebrating not the results because the results yeah. will come and when you keep doing the thing over and over it's gonna get boring and same thing with mental health and even with me and like doing a lot of my meditation and running oh my gosh it's so boring and i don't want to do it <laughs> but that's why i tell myself i need to keep doing this because there's yeah. going to be a day that i am going to be so grateful that i did it for a year straight or whatever mm -hmm. no exactly like it your habits are, are what make you uh, that's it just is what it is you know it's um if you want to build your own business well then you can't come home and watch bloody netflix every day can you no you have to like put your head down and change the way you do things and it's it's always ever evolving and shifting and changing i think like one thing that i learned is when i was given all these tools I was like okay i have to do these tools but then as i started growing and changing i was like okay wait, hang on maybe my tools need to change a little bit because mm. I've changed. So like, as I, as you evolve, your tools have to evolve too. Um, because otherwise I think for me personally, it just kept me stuck in like the same type of loop. And I was like, okay, like maybe it's time to like do something else to, to like change my, myself and get out of my comfort zone. Um, like I went on a road trip for like, oh Lord, I did a road trip for seven, seven hours all the way up the coast from Orange County to, Big Sur to Carmel, and um, I had never been on a vacation alone ever in my life. Oh, wow. I had always <laughs> relied on another person. I went, no, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do it, and it was the best thing I could have done for myself. And now that's like an, another tool that I have. To how put in my how okay. long did it take you for you to realize it was the best thing, though? Because oh. I'm I'm from a family. I have five sisters and one brother. So oh, wow. my whole life, I've been surrounded with people and interaction and stimulus. So mm -hmm. I remember going to college and I remember, I remember the, the day being in college, going to the, um, I think it was the, the Asian restaurant and sat down and had my first lunch by myself. And I wow. think I instantly got depressed from oh, that man. because I was so used to so much stimulus so many people that instantly like this feeling and I didn't know how to deal with this feeling so it started its own thing so I'm curious when you were out on your own how long mm -hmm. did it take you to finally like embrace yourself and be like wow this is a good thing um so I had like I have a whole uh, video up on it like I did a, my first quote vlog mm -hmm. so I have it on my YouTube channel but basically what I did is I got, I was on dating apps for a while. Um, cause I've been single for Lord have mercy, about almost two years now. Um, after I had a breakup that just like changed my life, um, as it always does. Mm -hmm. And it, it made me realize that I was relying too much on, on dating other people mm -hmm. to have to certain, need, your, yeah. yeah, certain needs fulfilled emotionally. Like, Oh, I need to have a boyfriend to go do a cool road trip vacation. Oh, no. wow. That's beautiful. Good for you. Yeah. Oh, thank you. So I just was like, ah, no, F it. We're going to go. We're going to do it. I booked it on purpose, knowing that I go, listen, if I book it and I pay for it, I cannot get out of it because mm. I've spent money on it. Yeah. So I did it. 
And I was like, okay, it's time to do this. And um, before that, though, I started doing little, little things alone, too, like sitting down, eating by myself, which I had never done before, just to warm up to the fact that I was about to do a <laughs> seven hour. Road You're trip. practicing being with yourself. Okay. Yeah. Let me even, see who is this person? Exactly. Even um, yoga, too. I would never go alone. It's so oh, weird. Wow, I know, right? I go to the gym alone all the time. Yeah. But I'd never go do new things by myself. Mm -hmm. It got so bad to the point where I was like Amazon priming my groceries to my house instead of getting up and just going to the grocery store. I just became very isolated mm -hmm. and being on those apps made me very reliant on not well, living my probably life. that stimulus too of being on those mm -hmm. apps. I mean I mean I can't even imagine like Facebook, Instagram is bad enough of getting like dopamine hits of just going through. I can't imagine being on dating apps and stuff where it's like, yeah, I like you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're great. Yeah. You're great. You're great. Constant. Like it, it was weird. It, it, and it messed with my confidence too. And I just, there's never anyone on there that I was like, I feel like, I don't feel like I'm really making a connection with anyone here. So mm -hmm. then maybe if I'm not making a connection with some, but like anyone else or something I'm missing within myself that I need to find first. So Love that, I just got off of them. I was like, we got to get out of here. 